What's up guys, Billy Wilson here. I'm a Facebook ads expert and a few weeks ago, I spent $300 to try to become locally famous with one Facebook ad. So I wanted to share this video with you guys to show you guys the results and my experience and kind of how I set it up even so you could possibly implement it for yourself. And actually I wanna, before I jump into that, I wanna let you guys know this video was inspired by a video that I saw on YouTube made by Scott Hilsey, he's a drop shipper and he made this video titled Local Fame from One Facebook Ad, How I Did It. And I just wanted to play some of the videos at the beginning of this to show you guys kind of the results that he had uh, running his Facebook ad to hey, become locally what's going famous. On? Hey, I'm on Instagram Live right now. Cause these guys just noticed me from the Facebook ad and pulled up. So somebody even draws, drew his name in the snow, oh, I guess. But basically the first couple minutes is like Instagram stories of him meeting up with all these people that he met through his Facebook ad or that recognized him in person. And then later, Throughout the video, it kind of explains how we made the ad, and then from there, he actually shows a video of the ad himself. So this video is kind of inspired by that, and I took some of the um, the strategy that he used and kind of put my own twist on it. So that's what I'll be sharing with you guys in this video. I'll actually link this video below in case you want to check it out after this video. So let's jump into the Facebook Ads Manager. First off, I just want to kind of show you guys how I set up this ad. Um, and it's in, inside Facebook. If you're not familiar with Facebook Ads Manager, I mean, pretty much, pretty much, <clears throat> Anyone can make an ad on Facebook. Um, if you actually go to Facebook, I believe you can go down here and then there should be like a button to create ads. You do have to have a Facebook page, not a normal profile page. So that is one key thing to remember there. But um, from there, once I actually made a face, well, I already had a Facebook ad account, but once you make a Facebook ad account, you can actually, there's these creative options here, um, these objective options. And for me personally, I tested a couple different ones, but I kind of figured that engagement would probably be the best. Same thing with video views for this kind of thing. Since you're trying to become locally famous, it makes sense to try to go for the most engagement. That's like likes, comments, video views, stuff like that. So I actually test, tested engagement and video views. So two campaigns there. And let's go back. So you can see I tested an engagement campaign, uh, video views campaign. I didn't actually do this one, but you can see here, um, these ones combined spent over 300, almost $300. Engagement, I ran the ad on Instagram as well, so it went on Facebook and Instagram, so I'll show you guys the results on both. But just to jump into the targeting, like what kind of area did I target to actually try to become locally famous with this ad? Well, if I go into the audience here, you can see that I actually went in and I put in some like really, and I may have to blur some of this information, but I went in and I put in some really specific locations on the map. I put all these red circles all around it, um, I pretty much dropped a pin on the places that I want to target. The two places that I want to target was like my pretty much uh, like a apartment complex area and kind of area really close to my home. And then also the area around my gym. So I was, cause those are the two most common places that I'm actually outside that people could see me. So I did my like a little bit of local area and a little bit of my gym. So when I would go to the gym, people would recognize me, recognize me at the gym. So I actually noticed a couple people recognize me at the gym, but I'll get to that a little bit later. Um, that's as far as the targeting. I kept the, everything else really broad. I targeted pretty much everyone in the location. And that is pretty much it. Now my city, as far as city size goes, is about 200,000, I believe. So it's a, I'd say like a medium sized city. It's definitely not huge, but it's definitely pretty decent size. It's definitely not rural, rural or anything like that. So um, it's definitely possible to become locally famous in my city. And it's kind of, uh, cool because I've actually kind of made one of my clients that uh, is in the city locally famous as well. He owns a gym here locally and he's kind of become a little bit of a local celebrity as well. People recognize him all the time. So I want to see if I can kind of rep replicate that for myself and that's what I ran these ads for. So as far as the results that you see here, um, you can see there's a couple things here. So as far as total number of people that saw this ad, let's actually go to here because it's not popping up the num numbers for some reason. And let's click out of that and see the total numbers here. Well, impressions, that's pretty much how many times the ad was shown. 24,000 times people saw this ad, but about 13,000 people, this ad reached for $300. So you can see here, the cost to reach a thousand impressions was about 11, $10. So actually pretty cheap for his met, considering how many people are actually seeing this ad in such a small area. So it's pretty significant. Um, you can see relevant score. This is a ranking score from pretty much one to 10. This was pretty much nine and 10 at the beginning, but it slowly went down over time because more and more people started seeing the same ad over and over again. But um, as far as frequency goes, you can see that it was about two times per person. So on average, 
each person that was in that kind of area that I was targeting saw this ad on uh, two times and cost per three second video view of four cents, cost per 10 second video, 10 cents. And those are kind of the overall results and I thought these numbers would be cool to you guys that are kind of into the Excel spreadsheet, kind of a statistics numbers kind of like I am. So for anybody wondering as far as the numbers go, that's kind of the numbers. In the ad, I actually linked my YouTube channel so you can see the click-through rate. I mean, I didn't really expect that. I mean, my main goal was engagement, so this stuff isn't really that important, but you can see as far as cost per click on my YouTube channel was pretty much 176, about, about $2 for per click on my YouTube channel, but once again, that wasn't the goal. The main goal was to get people to recognize me in person. So what does the ad actually look like? So that's what I'm gonna show you guys next and kind of give you some tips behind actually creating the ad in a way that was engaging. And before I do that, I'll actually show you the ad that he kind of created. He used the similar strategy as far as targeting um, like the uh, really specific local area. He pretty much did a one mile radius around his um, his home city. You can see that um, in the, actually show his ad right here real quick possibly. You can see this is actually the recording of his ad. He's got kind of the his local town in the background a little bit and um, just nice view. So people instantly when they see the ad, it kind of gets their attention because of his shirts. Uh, his jacket and also the background for somebody locally they'll probably recognize the background I assume so that's kind of the setup that he has going on there so I tried to kind of portray that a little bit obviously the main thing you want to do is your face <clears throat> another thing that's really important to remember if you decide to do this um, you have to add captions because a lot of people that watch videos on YouTube uh, on Facebook and Instagram they don't have their sound on maybe they're at work or anything like or they're not in a place where they can have sound on. So always make sure if you decide to do this, anytime you add, if you decide to do Facebook ads, always add captions to your video that makes an enormous difference. But you can see as far as the headline, <clears throat> and I'll actually play this video for you guys in a second, but for the headline, I kept it pretty simple. I just put the local city name and said, don't watch this ad. And then you can see at the top here, <clears throat> I just started off with the city name and I highly recommend doing that. And I also said the city name first thing in the uh, video as well. And that's really important because when people are seeing ads on Facebook, you wanna try to show them that this is an ad in their local city or else they're probably gonna skip it. Um, but if it's something in their local city, they're gonna be a lot more likely to pay attention to it. So I'll let you guys read the ad copy real quickly, but honestly, I didn't try too hard on it. I just made the ad copy really simple um, and just kind of explains the thing that I'm doing for, I tell them a little bit about, about myself, and then I encourage them, if they see me in person, to say hi, and then tell them what I like talking about in case they see me in person, and then I tell them some of the places you can commonly see me as far as walking around this area and at the gym. And then let's go ahead and play this video for you guys. What's up, Overland Park? My name is Billy Wilson. Don't worry, I'm not trying to sell you anything in this ad. I'm actually making this video kind of as an experiment to see who will recognize me in person from running this ad. So if you're watching this right now, pay attention to my face. If you ever see me in person, you're welcome to say hi. I actually run a seven-figure uh, social media marketing agency and online education business. And I was really just wanted to make this as an experiment. I have a YouTube channel with 30,000 subscribers. You're welcome to look it up, or maybe I'll look a link up, put a link to it down in the description below. My last name Wilson has two L's, but um, I guess if you're into entrepreneurship or even if you're into Fortnite, I play Fortnite usually every night. You're welcome to add me on Fortnite as well. Billy Wilson, Wilson with two L's once again, no spaces in that, just B-I-L-L-Y-W-I-L-L-S-O-N for Fortnite. <laughs> I don't know. Just trying to see how this goes. And um, I'm actually at, so if you guys live there or you're around it, you probably know where I'm at right now. But um, that's pretty much where I live, hang out. So if you see me around, just come and say hi. Don't don't worry about anything. I'm just really mostly running this as an experiment, to be honest. And if you're interested in Fortnite or entrepreneurship, down to have a conversation with you. Um, and I guess maybe we'll make some new friends with this. I'll see how it goes. Thanks, you guys, for watching. And if you want to learn more about what I do or anything like that, you can check the link in the description for my YouTube channel. Or you can just look it up on YouTube. Thanks, guys. See ya. Okay, cool. So that was the video. And I'll actually show you guys some of the comments as well. <clears throat> And I also had somebody reach out to email that I lived in a local area to meet up as well for this. Um, so that was pretty cool too. And you can see some person said here, hey, you're my neighbor. And I actually did this in the background to kind of like if people are living in this pretty big apartment complex, then they will see this ad and then probably see me walking around later and say hi. And then somebody also asked me what Fortnite. Of course, I had to do the Fortnite plug in there. I don't know. Just was kind of going with the flow on that video, making it a little bit fun and simple. But um, as far as the overall results of this ad though, how locally famous did this make me? And I'll be completely honest with you guys, 
this I would definitely not consider a success and not nearly as success success as the uh, video that I showed you earlier was with him showing the stories of people meeting him in person. I actually only the only person that said anything in person was the person that emailed me and obviously these people with the comments and then um, I did notice like two people at the gym that were like looking at me kind of funny so I could definitely tell they probably seen my ad or something like that um, and kind of looking at me for a long period of time but they actually never said anything and I'm sure there's a lot more people that saw me but they just didn't say anything because they're probably nervous but um, as far as the theory as to why and I still wanted to make this video anyways because I spent $300 on this and I thought even though, even though I failed I thought it would still be a good learning experience for you guys and kind of just a cool experience to share overall because you see these videos on YouTube and you're like, oh, these things are so cool, but how does this actually turn out in real life? So why do I think this ad worked, but mine didn't? Well, there's a few reasons. One, I think that the having the local background, which is a lot bigger of you here, kind of having a local area that was more recognizable in the background was a, probably very helpful. Um, he spent about $500 on his ad, I believe. And his city, I'm not sure if this is true or not, but his city also may be a little bit smaller if he's targeting like this one mile radius around kind of this area. Um, so it might be more of a closer, tight knit community. That's another possibility. It could be a possibility that his shirt's a little bit brighter. Um, as far as the actual ad content itself, it's actually pretty similar to mine. So that's just kind of how Facebook ads go sometimes. I mean, sometimes you get a winner, sometimes you get a loser. And in this case, sometimes you gotta do a little bit more testing. But I know for 100% sure, that um, you can become locally famous with Facebook ads. It's just a matter of how much money you're willing to spend and how good your actually ad is. And a lot of other factors combined it can be the size of your city, how close knit it is. Um, there's a lot of factors that play a role into how you can become locally famous. Now my client that I was talking about, and he's actually sent me multiple, like I said, he's a gym owner. He sent me multiple text messages saying like, this person recommend <laughs> saw me at the golf club. This person saw me at this parade. Um, this person like he t literally texts me all the time about all these people recognizing him in person And there's actually a video that kind of went viral in our local area a little bit. It's, uh, it was like an MTV Cribs tour of their gym and uh, He even does like a part of the video where he like dunks on the goal inside the gym It's really funny and just over overall super cool video just to overall give, give you guys a realistic expectation of this Would I do this again? Probably not, but was it a fun time overall? Yeah, it was pretty fun and I'm glad that I still it, tried it out to make this cool video for you guys so with that said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any ideas as to why you think, maybe I'll play, I'll actually go ahead and play his ad for you at the end of this video for you real quick, some part of it. So you guys can maybe tell me why you think his ad performed better than mine. Let's play a little bit of his ad real quick. What exactly I say and how I did it. You can watch it. It's only like two minutes and 30 seconds from here. So thanks for watching. Peace. Woo! What's going on, Clayton, Missouri? Scott Hilsey here. And you may have already seen me skateboarding around because I love to skate through the city and I love to skate the center of Clayton every single day for the gym. Now you may be wondering, who are you and why are you on my feet? But like I said, my name's Scott Hilsey. Two years ago, I was a busser at Napoli too. I worked there for five years and I moved to LA to be an Uber driver. And long, long story short, I started two six-figure e-commerce businesses in the past year. Came back. Okay, cool. So he pretty much tells his story kind of like that for the last two minutes. Maybe he's a little bit more exciting than me. Yeah, that could be definitely one thing maybe it's the background and maybe it's also more a population dense area here because it seems like a little bit of a mini it's not like a big city but it's like a little bit of a mini city in this one mile radius so it could be the population density more people walking around he said he skateboards around his city so he might be outside a lot more than me so that could be another reason that um, allows people to recognize him more but his Facebook ad also did get more comments too so it's a little bit of combination of everything but if you guys have any ideas why you think his ad performed better than mine. I'd love to hear you guys' ideas and overall, hope you guys enjoyed the content of this video. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. And if you're interested in Facebook advertising at all, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. See ya.